Okay, let's jump right into 7.8, zero product property. Um, I'll take a second to address the fact that I skipped 7.3 and 7.6. Uh, you're not going crazy, I just didn't do those because they are perfect square uh, theories and basically it's just the exact same thing as foil and reverse foiling um, but with perfect squares as, as either the the question or the answer. Uh, the methods you use to get to the answer are the same in all the other ones, so I just decided not to waste our time. Um, so 7.8 is the zero product property, and that is finding a graphing solution to a pair of binomials. Uh, and a graphing solution to a pair of binomials happens when you set the two binomials equal to zero and then solve. Um, what does that mean? It means if they give us x plus one and x minus three, if they give us these two and they say find the solutions of it, that means we're not, we're not gonna foil it out and get the trinomial. What we're gonna do is just take each one and drop it down into its own equation and set it equal to zero. We're going to create new equations where they're equal to zero. So let's see, x plus one equals zero. We're going to subtract the one, subtract the one. x equals negative one plus the three plus the three. x equals three. So our solutions are x equals negative one and x equals negative three. It's it's just that simple. Um, if you were to graph it, this is where the graph would cross over the x-axis, I, I believe, where x equals negative one and x equals three. And it would make like a, it would make like a, a parabola like this. And the points there, the two points where it crosses over the x-axis, would be negative 1 and 3. And once again, the point where it gets more complicated, you've got x squared plus 5x plus, or equals negative 6. So the first thing you have to do is get it into the trinomial form. So you're going to add that 6 over, add that 6 over x squared plus 5x plus 6 equals 0. Now you've got a trinomial, right? And you can break this trinomial down into two binomials. So what are two numbers that add together to be 5 and multiply together to be 6? That's 2 and 3. 2 plus 3 is 5. 2 times 3 is 6. So we go x plus 2, x plus 3 equals 0 x plus 2 equals 0 gives us x equals negative 2. x plus 3 equals 0 gives us x equals negative 3. So that's x equals negative 2 and x equals negative 3. Those are the solutions to this particular graph. And the next one, 15x minus 4x minus 3 equals 0. So we're going to need two numbers that multiply together to be 15. That's either 1 and 15 or 3 and 5. I believe it's 3 and 5 because I think this is the same one we did in the previous lesson. We need uh, a positive and a negative because it multiplies together to be negative. And we need the bigger number to be negative because the middle part ends up being negative. So the bigger number, let's see, this 1 and 3. So between 1 and 3, which multiply together to be 3, that's where I'm getting that. Between 1 and 3, 3 is the bigger number. So we're going to make 3 the negative and 1 the positive. 3x times 5x gives me 15x squared. 3x times negative 3 gives me negative 9x. That gives me 5x. And that gives me negative 3. And that is what we wanted. So I'm going to get rid of the trinomial. 
this is what we needed. We set it equal to zero. Three x plus one equals zero. Minus one, minus one, divide by three. X equals negative one third. And five x minus three equals zero plus three plus three divided by five x equals three fifths. Sorry if I'm solving that a little too fast, uh, but you should be better at at, at solving these by now. Uh, you've had to do it a bunch to get through to this point, so hopefully you were at least able to follow and that made sense. I hope solving across the equator equator e equal sign isn't isn't difficult anymore side note if it is try ixl that um math acceleration program it uh it's just the letters ixl right dot com and you've got a profile set up there by either mr hope or miss manus and um it's got practice to make you better at this um and don't don't ask the question, well, when am I ever going to use this? Because it's not about that. It's about making your brain function better. It's about giving you skills so that you can be better equipped and your brain works better.